More than 150 years after its resolution, the Civil War continues to capture the popular imagination. And few places better preserve its memory than Antietam National Battlefield in Washington County. Antietam Battlefield is known as the single bloodiest day in American history. It was a one-day battle, it took place on September 17, 1862, and there was over 23,000 casualties here at this battle during that 12-hour fight. But bullets weren't the only thing flying on that brutal September day. The fruit from a nearby apple orchard was also caught in the crossfire. So we're at the Antietam Battlefield in the Piper Orchard, which was an orchard that was here during the time of the Civil War. It was the largest orchard we had here in Sharpsburg. It was also, we believe, a commercial orchard. And during the Battle of Antietam, some of the heaviest fighting took place right around where we are. Today, a century and a half later, Ranger Joe Calzaret and farmer Eric Rice are hoping to restore the Piper Orchard to its former glory. They don't have to imagine what an orchard would look like. They could actually see the trees, walk amongst the trees. And in a few years' time, maybe even get a literal taste of history. Today, we're planting some of an improved wine sap. If we're a little lucky, we'll get some fruit in three years. Like many of the other trees Eric and Joe have planted here, these wine saps were chosen in part for historical accuracy. They're a heritage variety, meaning they've been around for hundreds of years, but you probably won't find them in your local grocery store. And they're a little bit different from your standard galas and honey crisps. As American tastes have progressed in the last hundred years, we have moved to sweeter tasting fruit and in the course of doing that have lost some of the acid and most of the tannin. And so the heritage apples still have some of those properties. Properties that make them ideal for turning into hard cider, which is exactly what Eric does at Country Pleasures Farm and Willow Oak Craft Cider, 15 miles east of the battlefield. Here in Frederick County, he, along with wife Lori, has been growing these unconventional apples for over 30 years making him the perfect man for the job of restoring Piper Orchard, 1862 style. That is, organically. Ours is the oldest organic farm in the state, but it's the oldest organic orchard in the East. The leap that Eric made to grow tree fruit here organically was a little bit, uh, well, everybody thought he was crazy. That's because tree fruit, like apples, is hard enough to grow, even with the help of things like pesticides. Go organic, and you've got a whole new host of challenges. This is what we have to contend with in organic orchards. We get a lot of bee damage when things get really ripe. Lots of times we have to be careful about not getting the back end of a bee into the front of our hand as we're actually picking. In many commercial orchards, bee or wasp damage might be a deal breaker, but not here, where most of the apples will go from baskets to barrels in less than three weeks hearkening back to how they would have been used hundreds of years ago. This apple is called a Spitzenberg. It's an apple that Mr. Jefferson grew at Monticello and that he actually used in his cider and distillery operation there. The apples grown at Antietam will also eventually be used for cider, either produced here at Willow Oak or by millstone sellers in Baltimore County. But as with the apples, this isn't your grocery store cider our ciders end up being much more like a dry white wine than the typical commercial cider that you find. They're also chock full of history. All of the heritage apples grown here have their own unique stories to tell. This apple's called a golden russet. So this is the oldest American apple. Probably some Dutch settler brought a seed with him from Holland and planted trees and this is what we got. And keeping those stories alive is one of the driving forces behind Willow Oak. Behind growing heritage apples, making cider, even helping to restore a historic orchard. Caring for trees that have been grown for a couple hundred years, we get a sense of caring for history too in taking those apples and turning them into a very traditional drink as well.